Hello class. Uh, today we're going to be looking at what is an interactive science notebook. This is going to be the foundation of this class. A lot of everything that you do in this class will be represented in your interactive science notebook. So figured we need to take a little bit of time to explain what exactly you'll be doing in your interactive science notebook. Okay. So problem. Here we have student A. Their notes for class are in three different notebooks. They have random papers in their book bag and they can't find their homework. They have no study materials. Does this sound like any of you? I mean, this was me when I was in school. I was really unorganized and had trouble finding the information that I needed to do. So what I did, or what I learned about, was something called an interactive science notebook. Okay, so the solution, interactive science notebooks. Okay, it keeps all your work together. It's organized with page numbers and the table of contents. It's a built-in study guide, communication tool. Ultimately, it becomes a portfolio of everything you learned this year. So, just as an example, I had one here from a student last year. Okay. Here's their 8th grade science interactive notebook. This one is for chemistry. Here you see they have an explanation of grading and um, your, you and your parents will sign here. Here's the table of contents. So every entry that you do will be put in your table of contents. Okay. And it keeps all your work together. So everything that this student did is in their interactive science notebook. Your interactive science notebook is broken up into two sides, the right side and the left side. Okay? On the right side of your interactive science notebook, this is anything that I give you. This could be notes, it could be a reading excerpt, it could be lab procedures and directions, it could be questions for a lab, it could be prompts. Okay? But this is anything that I will hand out and require you to paste into your science notebook. This is what we call input. Okay, this is what I give you. That's on the right side of your notebook. The left side of your interactive science notebook is anything that you do. Okay, this can include illustrations, comics, graphic organizers, poems, song lyrics, Venn diagrams, foldables. This is where you get to be creative. Okay, you get to take everything that you learn and put it in a creative outlet. Okay, and this is, this is how I will understand whether or not you know the content. And we call this output. This is what you show me. This is anything that you do. And this will always be on the left side of your notebook. So in conclusion, okay, this video lecture was to show you what, in summary, an interactive science notebook is. It lets you organize your work and help you study. All of your work for the year will be in this notebook, okay, including quizzes. We have lab procedures, Cornell notes, okay, we have foldables. And remember, foldables is something creative, so it goes on the right side. Okay. The interactive science notebook will also be graded. Remember, it's 40% of your grade. And this allows me to see individual students' understanding. I can look at your notebook and see what you get and what you don't get. And then I can individually help each and every one of you. So the interactive science notebook will result in better understanding and better grades.